Today we are going to talk about matrices in MATLAB. Remember that MATLAB is matrix laboratory. So MATLAB is based on matrices and vector algebra. Even scalars are treated as one cross one matrix in, a, in MATLAB. Now how can we define a matrix in MATLAB? Simply, if I want to define a, a matrix, I can simply put square brackets with spacing between the elements. So this will define me a matrix A, right? I can also define matrix using uh, ma the matrix uh, uh, separating the elements by commas, but I'm more comfor comfortable with, with this uh, technique. So that's why I'm using this method of defining matrices. Now, if we, if we want to have a second row, for going to the second row, we will always use a semicolon. So whenever the row ends, we will we want to go to the second row in the matrix. We will always use semicolon. So if you want to go to the second row, we have used semicolon, and then we have this matrix. So now the matrix is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now if, how to access the uh, elements of the matrix? This can be done uh, by indexing. So if if I want to access uh, the the number five. The number five is present in second row and first column, so I can simply write two comma one. This will give me five. If I uh, want to access uh, uh, second column, uh, second row fourth column number, which is eight, I can access like this. I will type A again so that we know what matrix is. Now, if you want to overwrite uh, any element value in the matrix, for example, there is five. I want to override it, I want to write it as 55. I can simply write as this. A and then it's it's in the second row, so I will write two, separated by comma. It's in the first column, so I will write A1 and I will make it equal to the whatever value I want. I can make it equal to the 55. So now my new matrix will be the same as A, except uh, 55 will be overwritten over five. See, so the 55 is overwritten over five. Now there is an one important command which is called the uh, size. Size of a matrix gives us its dimension in terms of rows and columns. As you can see, the row has uh, two rows. The matrix A has two rows and it has three columns. Also remember that uh, we can broadly def um, classify matrices as row matrices, column matrices, uh, and scalars. Uh, and normal matrices. So the row matrix uh, is a matrix which is one cross one order, which is of the order of one cross one, which means that it, it has only one row. For example, if I write, uh, uh, let me take uh, name is as row matrix, row matrix uh, is equal to one, two, three. So this is the example of row matrix. Column matrix has only one column. So I, I can write one, three so this is the column matrix because size of this matrix is three cross one it has only one column size of this matrix was uh, this matrix was one cross three because it has one row and th the size of scalar is always one so if I define as a is equal to three and then then I define size of a so MATLAB uh, uh, treats a scalar matrix as a scalar number a as a one cross one matrix fine okay there is another important thing which we need to consider is the colon operator i will clear the screen i will clear all the variables all the matrices okay the colon variable so if you want to define anything uh, we can use the context use the syntax uh, t is equal to initial value step size final value so this is the uh, syntax of the raw matrix for example if I want to define a value t is equal to uh, I I will give the initial value I want to start it from 1 I will give this I want to give it the step step size of 2 and a uh, I want to run it till 9 you can have a look it's running from 1 3 5 7 and 9 so we have the initial value which is 1, we have the step size which is the increment 
uh, which is 2 and then we have the final value which tells MATLAB not to go beyond that value fine for example if I if I type t is equal to 1 2 and 10 the answer will be same so this 10 value the final value tells MATLAB not to go beyond 10 as 11 is the next element is 11 with a step size of 2 so it cannot go to 11 because that is beyond 10 also by default the step size is 1 so if I write 1 comma 10 the step size is 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I can also define it in reverse order so I have 9 minus 2 then I want to come to till 1 so you have 9 7 5 3 1 the raw matrix now what if I have uh, initial value greater than final value so if I have 4 2 and 1 as you can have a look I wanted to start from 1 and increment by 2 and until it get uh, equal to 1 it should not go beyond 1 so 4 4 is the first value then after that it's 6 that's it so now we will have an empty matrix fine the other important concept is uh, concatenation of matrices which means combining matrices so if I have a matrix A which is defined as following and then we have B which is uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 so to combine these matrices I can simply write C is equal to A the C will be the combination of these matrices fine uh, both the matrices have been combined together and this can only happen when the both matrices are of rectangular nature and the result is also a rectangular nature we can also give other examples for example uh, let me clear a clear all okay so for example a is equal to 9 10 fine and b is equal to 1 3 5 7 fine so c is equal to a b what will be that it will be 9 10 followed by this thing 1 3 5 7 so it's have, ha, it, you can have a look it's 9 10 followed by this thing also we can uh, write for example d is equal to 9 10 E and E is equal to 1 E matrix is a is only one cross one scalar fine E is equal to 1 I can also com combine that so F, F is equal to uh, D E though the size is different but the result is a rectangular matrix what if the result is not a rectangular matrix In that case, for example, I have A is equal to 9, 10, fine, B is equal to 1, 2. Now if we combine these two, the result is not a rectangular matrix. If I combine it like this, result is not a rectangular matrix. So the dimension of matrix being concatenated are not consistent. So the result should be a uh, rectangular matrix uh, else MATLAB will display an error fine okay there are some built-in matrices in MATLAB the first one is zeros zeros gives us all the element value zeros if, uh, if I give it simply uh, a one argu argument it will give me a square matrix of each element zero like this if I give it two arguments it will give me a square matrix uh, it will give me a matrix of size two rows and three columns with all elements zero similarly goes for one this is a square matrix sorry one two, three and one two comma three fine the other example is i matrix which is an identity matrix okay there is one another very important command 
our keyword which is called end so the end is a reserved keyword it is helpful when we don't know the last what the last index is for example i will define another row matrix which runs from one one is equal to 10 fine this row matrix runs from one is equal to 10 now i want to access numbers from 3 till end i can simply write 3 with a colon operator and end so it's giving me values 3 to end fine uh, I can also give it a different step size. I can start, want to start it from 1. The x is again, I can type here x. x is from 1 to 10. I can start from x, uh, give it a step size of 2 and wants it to run till end. So that's how it will run till end. It will not go beyond end. Uh, also, if what, what if we have a uh, uh, what we, if we have a matrix with more than one rows? So if, if I have a matrix like this, four, five, six, fine. Let me put a semicolon so that the result is not displayed here. Okay. Now if I press B, the first uh, argument is always the row. So it means end row. End row here is the second row. Fine. Because this will display 1, 2, 3 in the first row and 4, 5, 6 in the second row. So this is the second row which is the end row. End row is this row. And the, the other argument, in the other second uh, argument, I want to, how many of the rows elements I want to access. For example, I want to access all the elements, I can simply time a colon operator. Fine. 4, 5, 6, the whole row is up is displayed if i want to access only the first two numbers uh, which is uh, four and five i can simply write one to two yes starting with one ending with two starting with four and ending with five it will give me four five fine okay uh, i can also write is uh, if i want to x is the end minus one uh, row so the end minus one row here is the first row we have only two rows so this is the end row is the second row the first row is end minus one now i want to access the end minus one row so this is going to display me one two three this is going to display me the first row fine so we have displayed one two three okay if i want to access the last element I can simply type end comma end so last row last column which is the end element which is 6 so now we have access 6 that's it for today